Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today, let's see some 10 questions uh, related to Friday interview. You might be already knowing it. It's just uh, a simple interview questions that I have listed here. Let's get started into the topic. So, what are the different case types in Pega? Like we have questionary, remote, and standard. These three are the case types we have in Pega. And which tab is replaced in constellation case type? So previously we used to have views. Now it is replaced by a tab called as user interface. So if you start building your application in constellation, you can see uh, user interface. Okay. And what is a class to check product deployments happened in application? Normally, uh, there is a class called as log hyphen pega rules move. So if you want to see the list of uh, product deployments that happen in your application, you can go to this class instances and you can check uh, this respect to class. What is the OOTB activity used to validate and save? Normally we have revalidate and save, right? So instead of uh, that revalidate and save, we have uh, direct this activity bulk validate and save. This is one of the OTB activity and parameter is uh, PZ INS key. So if you have any uh, rule, so if you just go here and click actions run and here you have to specify PZ INS key of uh, the respective rule INS handle and if you click run, the respective rule catch will be cleared in backend and uh, the latest version of the rule is uh, picked during runtime. How to stop automatic schema changes in Pega production deployment? So normally when we have deployments, right, it might be having some data instances also. So you want to hold that uh, schema changes uh, like a table uh, column change or renaming that and all. Normally in lower environments, it is fine, but in production, we have to be a bit careful. So this is the OTB DSS like automatic auto db schema changes so this will be set to false when you set to false then uh, pega won't import our database changes what is webhook in integration technology so webhook is known as uh, like a web callback or http push api so it's a way for an app to provide other applications with real time information so there won't be any uh, middleware so real time uh, we are providing information to the applications you can uh, see this because webhook uh, is is having a bit risk also because we are directly exposing the data what is the otb database to get application settings and what are the input parameters to it normally we have one database d underscore px get application setting value so we have set system settings right a rule uh, system settings for that, uh, while we are referring in our uh, REST integrations and all, instead of hard coding that, we can use this database. So the parameters are uh, the rule set and purpose. Purpose is nothing but name of the uh, system setting. What are the OTP activities available to export data into Excel? So there are two activities, PX generate XML and uh, another one is uh, Pass Excel file. So these are the OTB activities that we have. How can we call DSS in an activity? So here I have discussed about system setting. This is dynamic system setting. So we have some function called as get data system settings function. This system settings function is very useful uh, in an activity. What is the OTB activity to get first stage in a case type? Normally when we initiate a stage, right? Uh, there we have this uh, OTB activity get uh, first stage so here just uh, java code is there so it automatically pulls uh, this using this uh, utility the first stage of the respect to case type so by using this only peg also gets the first stage you can see the references also like it would be used when we are refer initiate stage or doing a change stage see So these are just uh, 10 basic interview questions I have listed down for today's video. So if you have any topics or interview questions that needs to be covered, please feel free to comment on this video. Another important update I want to give is, in our YouTube channel, we have something called as community type. In this community type, you will be listed with all the latest videos. 
and with all the latest job openings i have found so i'm not having any deal with any organization just whatever i have seen on linkedin or from my friends whatsapp status or something so i'm posting all the job opportunities here please feel free to share this uh, for the people who are looking for the job and not only that we have playlists in the playlist also i have uh, categorized all the videos so you can refer to the concepts accordingly before going to video i want to share that i am available in top mat now so if you want some pega career guidance or if you want some pega mock interviews or if you want some information on interview question whatever it is you can reach me personally in this top mat you can book a video meeting with me so that uh, i can have one to one chat with you guys thanks for watching this video hope you have liked the content please feel free to subscribe to this channel and check community tab for regular updates and click on bell notifications